guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's vlog, usapang CFO certificate tayo for minor. So, I made this vlog for those parents na magta-travel together with their minor children. So, minor age 0 to 12 years old po. Considered as minor ng CFO. Babasahin ko guys yung ilang inquiries na na-receive ko sa aking YouTube channel about this. Hindi ko na guys e may mention yung name ng sender for their privacy but the message guys magpa-pop up din sa screen. Ang baby ba na 1 year old kailangan ko din kuhaan ng CFO certificate and sticker. Ayan, sasagutin ko yan, guys. Later, Hello, ma'am. Ito, another question. Meron po kaming resident visa ng anak ko na 7 years old. Ask ko lang po if need din po ng anak kong 7 years old kumuha ng CFO certificate. And, guys, yes po. So, my nurse, they still need to present their CFO certificate sa ating Philippines immigration if they are holding immigrant visa. So yung immigrant visa guys, ayan, mostly pa nagre-register tayo sa ating CFO website. Ito yung lumalabas guys. Ayan, ipapakita ko. So, meron tayo dito ang apat na pilian. So, with different colors. So, meron Guidance and Counseling Program or GCP. So, this counseling is for those partner of foreign national with and with foreign national sponsor. So, hindi dyan po kasama si baby. And we have here Pre-Departure Orientation Seminar or PIDOS. And meron pong category. Babasahin ko din po, I am an immigrant visa holder petition by parents, siblings, immediate relatives, or spouse, or an independent or company-sponsored immigrant, or we are a um, OFW working abroad. So, si baby po, yung kung immigrant visa po, Si, si mommy, supposed to be immigrant visa din po si baby. So, dito po tayo magre-register sa PIDOS po. Hindi po dito sa CFOGCP, kundi po sa CFO PIDOS. So, may pop up ako guys sa aking screen. So, conversation siya guys from CFO website mismo. Hi, I'm registering my nephews. They are twin and below 12 years old. So, this is a minor. Do they still need to attend the pedos or do I need to attend pedos for them? So, consider guys na minor, syempre, lalo na kung mga 1 year old or 2, year, two years old. So, isipin natin as magulang, how can they do the registration alone. And the answer of Commission on Filipinos Overseas guys, they don't need to attend the seminar. They will only be needed to register since they have an immigrant visa. So minor, they are exempted to attend the counseling. So they don't need to be there mismo in the counseling session. Hindi nila guys kailangan pumunta ng, ng office or hindi nila kailangan ng um, ma interview ng counselor, but they need to be registered in CFO office. So, yung full guideline, babasahin ko po. The following immigrants are exempted from attending the PIDOS or peer counseling, but should still access the reservation and registration online system to submit data online and visit the CFO personally or send an authorized representative to obtain the immigrant registration sticker from the commission. So, minor age 12 and below. So, paano natin yun guys? Ma-i-register si baby. So, we have two option po. So, ang ganda ngayon guys, kasi meron ng two option. Unlike pandemic time, na talagang telephone lang. And this time... Bukas na po yung face-to-face -face counseling ng ating CFO office in Manila, Dabao, and Cebu. Para makatan tayo guys ng seminar, we have this face-to-face -face seminar or online po. Ayan, 
two options. So, mamimili po kayo dyan ng isa. So, mostly pag si baby may immigrant miss visa, syempre si, si parents dapat meron din kasi si baby hindi yan magte-travel mag-isa. So, ang magre-register po si mami either by online or ayan, sa face-to-face -face siya. But before po tayo pumunta sa CFO office for face-to-face -face PEDO seminar, we need to get or register online po to get our appointment. So, ito po yung instruction for that. If registering as a family, two or more person. Number one, principal applicant or parent must set an appointment and fill up registration form online. Number two, to register another member, enter the reference number found in the barcode confirmation form of the principal applicant. And number three, click register family member at the button. And number four, repeat steps two to three for additional family member. So, ganyan po yung instruction na kailangan natin sundin. And after nyan, guys, makakakuha ka po ng confirmation of your appointment with barcode and yun po yung dadalhin mo during your appointment day. On the day of the appointment po, syempre, mag attend ng seminar si parent. But guys, don't forget to bring your children's document if they are minor. So, means po, ikaw lang po as parent yung mag attend dadalhin mo lang yung mga documents ng mga anak mo. Naka-isang folder po, ayan. Kung tatlo yung anak mo, guys, na minor, tatlong folder, then iba-iba po. So, naka-separate po yan. Huwag po sa isang folder, lahat andon. Malilito po yung CFO office, mag-asikaso ng papers mo kasi naluhalo mo. So, isiparate mo po. Dadalhin nyo po yung passport nila together with their visa, birth certificate, Ayan, so kung kayo po yung legal parents, ayun, walang masyadong problema. Kasi talagang mapapatunayan nyo natin that we are their legal parents. Kung ano yung mga possible question ng CFO officer, madali natin masasagot. And after po mag-attend ni parent ng seminar for pedos, at the day po mismo, ibibigay din po ng CFO officer yung certificate po ng mga anak mo together with their sticker and ayan, pwede mo na pong edikit sa kanilang passport. Ganun po guys, kapag face to face po yung binili mong seminar. Kapag face to face, medyo ano siya guys, not so stressful. <laughs> Kasi ikaw lang yung kailangan magpa-appointment sa sarili mo as a parent and you just need to bring the documents of your minor children. You don't need to set an appointment for them. Also, hindi mo na po kailangan just bring their documents to the CFO office and then have their documents registered for the releasing of their CFO certificate. So, pag uwi mo sa bahay, lahat na po kayo meron CFO certificate. So, paano naman guys, if si parent nasa ibang bansa din, because nangyayari to eh, na si children, meron lang siyang legal guardian sa Pilipinas, which is the grandparents, the tito and titas, and the other siblings. So, si parents nasa abroad, nasa ibang bansa. So, pag ganun po yung nangyari, mag attend po ng seminar or ng pedos, or yung magpaparegister po kay baby is what we call the proxy or the second person. Kung hindi po ikaw yung legal parent, kailangan po ng additional requirements. Ayan, para ma-register natin si minor. Kailangan po ninyo ng ito guys. So, ililist down ko din po yung mga requirements dito sa screen. Ayan. So, if you are a proxy or not the legal parent, you need to provide the following document. You need to bring original and Xerox copy of your identification card. So, any identification card, guys, like PRC, National ID, Humid ID, if you have passport, you can use it as your valid identification card. You need to bring original and one photocopy of it. 
Special power of attorney authenticated dapat siya guys. If ginawa siya abroad ng parents, dapat naka-authenticate abroad. And then yung original mismo ng power of, of attorney ipapadala sa Pilipinas and you need to bring it with you. If yung affidavit of support naman guys is executed in the Philippines, sa Philippines po ginawa, it should be notarized ng ating public lawyer. Other documents that may be required by the registration officers, so guys, DSWD travel clearance. Ayan, kailangan po yan, guys, kahit po sa immigration, hinahanap po yan. If ang ating traveler po is minor and accompanied by, ayan, by card siya, hindi po si parents yung kasama magbiyahe, kailangan po yan, DSWD clearance. So, hinahanap din po yan minsan sa registration office. So, prepare po tayo ng mga document na posible pong hanapin sa atin ng CFO officer. And if you decided to have your PEDO seminar po via online, sometimes CFO office, they made it in Zoom. Ayan kay. So, we still, we need to register our child. So, sometimes si parent, isang um, registration lang po, okay na. But then, you need to contact or you need to approach any CFO officer that you will be traveling with minor. Para aware po sila. And pag mayroon ka na pong contact in any one of the counselor, ayan, you can raise your concern po na meron ka pong minor na anak. And, ayan, and hihingi na po nila sa'yo yung mga documents po ni baby. And take note po guys, kapag through online po, kailangan po natin i-scan yung documents po ni baby kasi by email po natin yan ipapasa. So, kung nakapag-decide ka po na by online, ayan, prepare po natin ahead of time na ma-scan po yung passport niya, yung visa niya, birth certificate niya po, and kung proxy po, um, scan of the authorization letter and identification ID ni proxy. Ayan po yung mga documents na hihingi ng ating officer once we register po online for ayan, online PEDOS seminar. For me guys, ayan, mas pipiliin ko po guys yung face-to-face. -face. Kasi mas maganda that you talk to or you raise your concern personally sa mga officer natin. Para maiwasan yung mga misunderstanding. Kasi po, by true phone call, sometimes they hang up. <laughs> Nagahang talaga sila, guys. Minsan, namimili lang sila nande kung kailang ka nila ikokontak. Ayan. Kung kailang ka lang nila, guys, gustong tawagan o gustong sagutin. <laughs> Ayan. But mostly naman, guys, ang babait ng mga CFO officer. Ayan. Yun lang guys and I hope natulungan kayo ng video na to. You found it so informative guys. Thank you again. And kung may tanong kayo, comment nyo lang po dyan sa baba. Sasagutin ko po yan. And don't forget guys to like and share. And if you are not yet subscribed, subscribe po kayo guys para ayan, manotify kayo if I have new videos about immigration documents. Commission on Filipino Overseas Documents, Visa Application, VFS. Guys, lahat nata guys na cover ng aking vlogs. And so don't forget to subscribe guys and thank you for watching.